um, Maria Hernandez, and I am born and raised here in San Antonio. Uh, were you always creative? No, I was not. I didn't um, start making art until after I graduated from college. Um, I didn't really start making art until 2009. And the first time that I, I feel like I was introduced to art was, um, again, after I graduated from college. So I didn't um, participate in any sort of creative outlet prior to that. I started volunteering for a small nonprofit organization called Sananto Cultural Arts in 2001. And that organization has um, two main programs. They have a newspaper program and they have a mural program. And so when I started working with them, I was um, working with the newspaper and then also learning about murals and Chicano art and muralismo. And um, that was really my introduction into art and realizing um, what art is. I'm interested in self-portraiture um, after after studying art a little bit and reading up on it a little bit on my own, um, of course, you know, one of the most famous, well-known self-portrait artists is Cindy Sherman, and so she was really the first artist who I came across in terms of self-portraiture. Um, you know, doing a search for Chicanas or Latinas or brown women artists that are also self-portrait, self-portrait artists aren't really going to produce much information and so when I was first getting started and interested in art um, it was hard to find artists to follow there were very few um, but her work really stood out to me and um, so that learning about her work and then in combination of learning you know learning about contemporary art learning about Latino art and Chicano art and Mexican American artists all of those things kind of um, formed my path you, know, you can only take so many photos of yourself where people are going to recognize you as you and you're going to look the same. So I feel like within my work I try and um, push those boundaries a little bit and that's where the altering of my physical appearance comes in. So it's, it's kind of shifted you know, from when I first started working and using self-portraits as a way to explore identity. Um, I still do those same things, but I just, I use the medium in a different way because the early self-portraits I took, you could, it was me, it was obvious, it was me. And now, um, the, I, I try to make it, um, to make myself unrecognizable. My work revolves heavily around identity and that identity of growing up in San Antonio, growing up Mexican-American, growing up within, you know, two cultures and sort of straddling these two cultures. And so there's something that happens when these two cultures bump up against each other and they form this third identity. And so it's really an exploration of that. Um, you know, San Antonio is majority Latino, it's majority Mexican-American. And so those, you know, the way that I grew up you know, the, the food I ate, the language my family spoke, you know, the places we lived and, you know, all of that sort of forms this Mexican-American experience. And um, my work is about exploring that. Well, I think that the Chicana identity is, it's, I, I think identity is fluid. I think that you as an individual are able to define your own identity based on your own experiences and to me being a Chicana boils down to the Mexican-American experience and it boils down to my individual experience so it's up to me to articulate that identity um, and you know it influences my work in a large way because it's really about exploring what that identity means and how it shifts and moves and it becomes fluid as you change you know as you grow and as you develop so I feel like it's it's constantly shifting and changing but it's also rooted in these um, these like cultural um, nuances or these you know ideas of of what culture means to me you know um, I started making 
art with a collective called Masrudas, and that uh, Masrudas came together in 2009, and we were a, a group of women um, who created installations together, and Masrudas is, you know, um, it was a project, and we worked together between 2009 and 2016, and, um, you know, very proud of the work that we did together. I feel like it really formed, it taught me how to be an artist, it taught me how to navigate the art world. Um, but, you know, within Masrudas, we also created multiple installations and, and worked together in multiple ways. So, um, you know, I'm really proud of the work that I did with Masrudas. And now that I'm a solo artist, um, you know, the exhibitions that um, I'm participating on my own. Um, the work I'm making for those exhibitions is, it's still self-portraiture, but it's, it's a little different. Um, and the last exhibition that I had called What Remains was my solo exhibition at the Southwest School of Art, I think was um, the, a series of work that I've been most proud of so far. You know, the label, the identity of Latinx from when it started to where it is now has definitely shifted. And I think it's still growing. It's, it's you know, redefining itself in all different kinds of ways. Um, if you would feel as if you fall into the Latinx identity and you label yourself as a Latinx artist, I feel like you bring a unique perspective to the art world. In my opinion, the contemporary art world is not a very diverse place, and that's one of the reasons why I'm in it. Because I feel like, um, you know, it's necessary for us to take our seat at the table. It's necessary for us to affect representation, and the only way that you're going to do that is by inserting yourself. Um, but I think that when these artists are given an opportunity to show, they're given, um, you know their work is represented, this identity is represented, um, it, it adds value to art, you know? It, it, and what does art do? You know, an art communicates things, it communicates ideas, it communicates perspectives and knowledge, it opens people up. And so I like to think of art as a form of education. Um, you're sharing your experience with the viewer and with the outside world. You know, you're, um, and that just, it adds diversity to the art world, and diversity is a good thing. And yeah, my work is definitely political. I think that, especially right now, um, you know, I make art because um, it's a way to articulate ideas, and it's a way to communicate things that I may not necessarily know how to vocalize. And the things and issues that I'm most concerned with are um, issues that affect minorities and women and um, brown and black communities and that's all politics and I think that in a way all art is political um, but it, it's hard for me to, to separate um, those art and politics it's hard for me to separate those things one of the main you know, focuses of my work is to um, affect representation and to, to have a voice and to represent brown women. Um, and so I really want that to be, you know, a message within my work. I want it to people to realize, you know, the perspective of a brown woman and that's communicated through my work.